like when the power goes out during severe storms. There is help on the way from Duke Energy. New technology is being installed in many parts of southwestern Ohio that's reducing the time you don't have electricity. Nine News reporter Tom McKee is here now with details on what this is costing. Tom? Well, Carol, Duke Energy is in the midst of a five-year project called Smart Grid to bring the system into the 21st century. And one part of that is called self-healing teams, which can automatically restore power during outages. Customers are sharing the cost, but those I spoke with today say that's better than being in the dark. Reverend Thomas Graves is as American as apple pie, but one thing he doesn't like is power outages. No, I don't. Uh, it causes inconveniences in, uh, in, the, in the household and also in other places in the area. Graves runs Emanuel Ministries in Claremont County's Miami Township and dislikes them in both cold and warm weather. In the summer, it's even worse because when the temperatures are hitting 90 degrees, uh, the air conditioner is out. However, outages on Cox Road between Romar Drive and Gray Fox Lane are being significantly reduced because of Duke Energy's self-healing circuitry. Distribution Automation Deployment Manager Jim Farley says the high-tech that gear works. We had an outage uh, on April 28th. 713 customers were saved from an outage of 33 minutes. Here's how it works. When storms approach and lightning knocks out power, the self-healers swing into action. Switches connect with software at Duke Energy offices downtown to open or close switches and get the electricity flowing again. Right now we have 11 of, 11 of the self-healing teams commissioned. The plan is to have 30 of them commissioned and ready at the end of 2013. The teams have been activated five times already and have saved a lot of people a lot of grief. What we've seen is nearly 8,000 customers have been saved over 400,000 minutes that they would have been inconvenienced with a power outage. Each self-healer can cost up to $200. $50,000, but Duke is sharing that expense with ratepayers. For year one, for example, we recovered 49 cents per month of bill from our Ohio customers. We just were approved this spring to recover year two costs, and that amount is $1.06 on our customers' bills. For Darren Fowler, the father of two teenage boys, that expense is worth it. It's extremely valuable to us because just simply thinking about food, how much you spend on food as a family, family of four, uh, our refrigerator going out, that food is bad. Now, the 30 teams that Duke hopes to have by the end of 2013 will cover about 10% of the customers in southwestern Ohio. The goal, of course, is to cover a wider area as technology continues to prove. Self-healers right now are not available for Duke Energy's areas of Kentucky or Indiana. Brendan. Tom McKee reporting for us. Thanks.